Yeah. Well, let me throw this out because I've listened to I, Josh Swamidas, some of his, uh, you know, his views on the evolutionary time frame and everything. Uh, would do you think that he's just an error, or don't you think that that uh, his knowledge of genetics is pointing him in the right direction? Actually, that's a very good question. So Joshua Swamidas, I'm very familiar with him, as well as the arguments from BioLogos. And their biggest, their biggest argument is, you know, how can we explain the, the levels of genetic diversity in humans today if we truly descended from, say, Adam and Eve just 6,000 years ago, or our last Y chromosomal ancestor, which would be 4,500 years ago at the time of Noah. But for one, as you can see in the slide here, that assumes that mutations are the ultimate source of all variety. But someone like Swami Dots, it's a silly argument because theologically speaking, would God have created Adam and Eve in the biblical kind with no genetic diversity built in, with no DNA differences? Of course, God didn't mean to be fruitful and multiply and do this through cloning themselves. So it makes sense that Adam and Eve would have been front loaded with pre existing functional DNA differences. And as you can see here in the slide, time is not required for the diversity today because diversity can be designed and built into Adam and Eve. What's funny is if we truly did descend from just two people that were front loaded with genetic diversity just 6,000 years ago, we should expect low genetic diversity in humans today. And that's actually what the evolutionary community discovered and they were shocked that they ended up inventing the, you're probably familiar with the hypothetical out of Africa population bottleneck in order to explain the low right. genetic diversity. So yeah, Swami Das, that's his main argument and it, it fails. It fails scientifically and theologically. We have no reason to believe that God would not have created Adam and Eve with, as Neff was saying earlier, with front-loaded genetic diversity. It, it only makes sense. Yeah.